Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tu e Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Welcome everybody to Chants and Prayers for Healing. My name is Reverend Simon Ruth DeVoyle, and whatever spiritual tradition you do or do not belong to, <laughs> you are especially welcome here. I'd like to do a land acknowledgement as we begin. I am on Abenaki land and I acknowledge the tribal history and the Abenaki people as the rightful owners of the land where I eat, sleep and have my being. But I'm looking at my display here and it tells me that the internet here at Goddard College isn't very good either. So I might come and go a little bit and uh, hopefully my audio will remain and I will lead us in a prayer by John Philip Newell. We pause to listen for the beat of your presence in all things, pulsing in the light of distant galaxies, sounding in the depths of our soul, vibrating in each vein of Earth's body, one sound as vast as the universe, one universe filled with presence, one life within every life. Now, today I've been thinking about sacred hospitality because um, I am part of the Abbey of the Arts monk uh, manifesto work that they're doing right now. And um, we're on week two, which is about sacred hospitality. And um, I was thinking about this anyway, so that's where the songs have come from today. But especially with the understanding that in the pandemic, this is a time of great loneliness for many people. I was talking to my spiritual director on Monday and she reminded me that this is also a pandemic of loneliness for many people. So if you live alone or for whatever reason you are feeling lonely or you want to pray with those who are alone, um, then this is the episode of Chants and Prayers for Healing for You. Let's Jump in with a song written by my friends Mia Kelly and Amy Ringo. It's the Angel Wash. I behold you, beautiful one. I behold you, child of the earth and sun. Let my love wash over you. Let my love watch over you. I behold you, beautiful one. I behold you, child of the earth and sun. Let my love wash over you. Let my love wash over you. If we take that sentiment of blessing and turn it inward, it might look a bit like this. Bless the Lord, my soul. And bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. 
bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Within our darkest night You kindle a fire that never dies away Never dies away Within our darkest night You kindle a fire that never dies away Never dies away Within our darkest night You kindle a fire that never dies away never dies away within our darkest night you kindle a fire that never dies away never dies away within our darkest night you kindle a fire that never dies away never dies away within our darkest night you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night You kindle a fire that never dies away Never dies away So one of the things I've been thinking about when it comes to hospitality is this the Celtic rune of hospitality that my parents have this up in their house and it's um very central to the Christianity of people in the west coast of Scotland. And I'm going to speak it from memory, so I don't know if what you can see there and what I say will be exactly the same. But I'm sure it will be close. I saw a stranger yesterday. So I put food in the eating place, drink in the drink drinking place, music in the listening place, because often, often, as the lark says in her song, Christ goes in the stranger's guise. Now, there's a dimension that Christine Walter's painter, the abbess of Abbey of the Arts, says in her reflection that I've been reading this week, and it's about welcoming the stranger within. And last week we were talking about silence and solitude and I'm still mulling that over. I want a month on every one of the eight manifestos that Abbey of... There's eight principles in the Monk Manifesto for Abbey of the Arts that I've been reflecting on and I'd like a month for each of them. Um, but one of the, the things that I've been really thinking about when it comes to solitude, which is the first principle, is how in silence and solitude, if we just go into that with a receptive mind, our monkey mind can completely take over. And trauma can replay or self-chatter, negative self-chatter. And the whole thing about welcoming the stranger within is a great practice to bring into your quiet time, into your reflection, to treat the inner you with kindness and compassion that you would give a good friend or a stranger who's coming in the Christ's guise. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Be Still and then do a little bit of inner work, active inner work, to make that inner landscape a loving place for self. And we'll start with Psalm 46. Though all 
oceans roar, you are the Lord of all, the one who calms the wind and makes my heart be still. The earth gives way, the mountains move into the sea, the nations rage. God holds it all. God holds it all. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I. Be still and know that. Be still and know. Be still and be still. Be. Be still and know that I am love. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I. Be still and know that. Be still and know. Be still and be still. Be still and know that I am here. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know that I. Be still and know that. Be still and know. Be still and be still. Place your hands on your heart. And maybe out loud, say, Welcome, friend. Really welcome. And then say your name. May I treat you with the same level of love and kindness that I treat my best friend. May I love my thoughts, my feelings, my body. May I take the inherited patterns that I was given by my family and ancestors and consciously 
work with them rather than be ruled by them. May experience my emotions but not be ruled by them. I welcome my thoughts but remember that my thoughts are only part of who I am. I welcome myself. Let's sing about that. This is a poem by Mary Oliver called Wild Geese. Oh, just in case you don't know me, um, I think <laughs> that we are a part of this living earth and that part of the way that we really befriend ourselves is by finding our place in the bigger scheme in the living world, not just the people, especially the trees and the animals. It's called Wild Geese. You don't have to be good. You don't have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Love what it loves. Tell me about despair. And I'll tell you my hind. Meanwhile, the world goes on Meanwhile, the clouds and the clear pebbles of rain Are moving across the landscapes Over the prairies and deep trees Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean air Coming home again So whoever you are No matter how lonely The world offers itself imagination calls you like the wild geese harsh and excited over and over announcing your place in the family of things in the family of things You don't have to be good You don't have to walk on your knees For a hundred miles through the desert Repenting You only have to let the soft animal of your body Love what it loves Love what it loves. Love what it loves. I am back. Thank you, everybody, for taking that time to pray. Claire, I'm just reading your comment. In the powerlessness of the internet glitches, we watch and pray. Absolutely. Watch and pray. Here's Confiteni Mi Domino, which is another Tizzy chant. I've been using a few of them today. Now, the English words there are adapted from what Tizzy says. Um, 
they don't have very interfaith leaning language. <laughs> Which is funny because people from all over the world and different traditions sing Taisy, but sometimes I tweak their words a little bit. Um, you and all your world are holy is very much me and not Taisy. You alone are holy is what they say. Which I, I kind of agree with, but um, I like you and all your world are holy, including us. And that's what we're singing about today. Let's welcome in that stranger within. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You and all your world are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Hallelujah. Confiteni mi domino. Quoniam bonus. Confitemini domino. Hallelujah. Confiteni mi domino. Quoniam bonus. Confiteni mi domino, Alleluia. Confiteni mi domino, Quoni ambonus. Confiteni mi domino, Alleluia. Confiteni mi domino, Quoni ambonus. Confiteni mi domino, Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You and all your world are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Confiteni mi domino, Quoni ambono. Confiteni mi domino, Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You and all your world are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Amen, Amen. And a wee trick is if you can't access that for yourself, that peace, if you're not feeling it for yourself, sometimes if we change to pouring out peace to others, for yourself and others, as Pre um, Pema Chodron has a lot of wonderful teachings on Tonglen. And I, I found in my own struggles that when I have been at the mercy of my inner emotions or um, thoughts that were just taking over, that were not very productive and very unkind to self and others, that a way of bypassing that was chanting, because you're, it's very hard to continue thinking when you're singing words out loud, but it was especially helpful to pour out the love and kindness that I needed on all beings that needed it. So I've got Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and may all beings live in peace. I invite you to sing this with me and send this out to those that need it this day. Loka Samasta Suki no bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no bhavantu May all beings be happy May all beings live in peace May all beings be happy May all beings live in peace Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Lo 
か冷ました月のババンとロカ冷ました月のババンと We all beings be happy We all beings live in peace We all beings be happy We all beings live in peace Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu As we move into our time of personal prayer now, let's focus on one of the biblical accounts of healing. Just then, a woman who'd been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the hem of his cloak. She said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. So she came up behind him. And touched the edge of his garment, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. And when they all denied it, Peter said, Master, there's people crowding and pressing against you from all angles. But Jesus said, Somebody has touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. And he turned and he saw her and he said, Take heart, daughter. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. So I invite you to drop your thoughts into your heart, to bring into your heart the situations, the people, the places、um, that you would like us to hold collectively in prayer, to pour out from our hearts to theirs. You're welcome to request prayers for yourself. And we're going to do a circling blessing. I invite you to receive the blessing first before you. Pour it out upon others. So、um, I'm going to sing it first time through in first person.
above you peace on your right peace on your left peace when you lie down peace when you arise peace when you take rest peace to shield you Christ with you Christ before you Christ behind you Christ in you Christ beneath you Christ above you Christ on your right Christ on your left Christ when you lie down Christ when you arise Christ when you take rest Christ to shield you You're welcome to write your prayers into the chat if you'd like us to know the details and for me to read them out. Start with a prayer of Judy that she left before she had to leave early. We pray that for Judy's anxiety that she may better or better handle anxiety and get some better sleep. Absolutely, we pray for you to sleep well, dear one. She also prays that things go well for her, for her husband, Ed, with workplace safety issues. Patricia, we send you light and love as you undergo cataract surgery on the 18th, so very soon. She asks that we in this community remember her on the 18th. Send, and we send you prayers of healing, absolutely. We also pray for Henry. Henry's uh, having a bout right now, so a bout of his flare-up with his mold situation in his brain. We ask that the, pe that the pain be relieved, that the clarity of thinking be returned, and that you have quality of life. We pray for healing for you, dear Henry. We join Michael in praying for Denise as she continues to her weekly drives to Florence, which is 4.5 hours. She leaves on a Sunday and returns on a, one, a Wednesday. She's making this journey to deal with settling her dad's estate. Pray for strength and love for Denise. And Kind Michael, we pray for you too in your depression. You write that your depression overwhelms you at times. In the midst of your own exhaustion, we pray for light and love and peace to find you. That in your darkest night, love and truth and companionship may find you. We pray for all who have depression at this time. Michael also asks for prayers for uh, his church. He's a pastor for challenging issues that have come up. We join Catherine in prayers for your friend Teresa, Elder Hanlon, on her ordination. I don't know what that word is, Catherine, I'm sorry, I don't know what that word is. But we pray for Roman Catholic women priests this Thursday. I love that, a Roman Catholic woman priest. We sit around Teresa in light and love and joy. We pray for the Catholic Church that it may wake up to the fact that women are fucking amazing spiritual leaders. 
front and center. We pray for a world overcoming patriarchy. And we pray for a world making room for more than just two genders. Dear Prem Daya, we send out blessings to all with you. And we also send you blessings. I, I read in the chat last week that you have been moving and packing. I've been thinking about you a lot, sending you prayers as you move. We join Kerry in praying for your son as he returns home for a couple of weeks for a break from a challenging job in Northern Labrador. Kerry writes that he is exhausted, so we, we, we pray for him to be rejuvenated, for him to receive nourishment in body, mind, as well as in good food. join Diane in praying for the Parliament of World Religions, which is being her held virtually this Sunday and Monday. We pray for all the organizers as they get ready. We pray for the work of the Parliament of World Religions, this wonderful organization that's been around for a long time now. Diane's prayer is, may it be a blessing and a catalyst for healing and peace in this world. Amen. We pray for all the, um, the prayers that will be added later to the chat or held quietly in people's hearts. I give, I give thanks for the patience of the community around the internet issues. And I just want to let you know that lots of the people who've received prayers um, are writing gratitude into the chat which is just profoundly beautiful let's seal this time of prayer by passing the peace i've got a little video here that shows you how we're going to do this If you're watching in Crowdcast, you'll see the big green button that says Taze is back. So um, I took a hiatus from doing Taze as I was moving house. So Taze is uh, uh, an abbey in France and they have all sorts of amazing chants uh, once a month on a Wednesday, which happens to be next Wednesday, the third Wednesday of the month at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I do a Taze chanting service and it's a wee gem. It's a little bit less talky. I don't reflect and share my thoughts quite as much. It's more about the songs and the prayers. And it sticks pretty much to either the Jewish or the Christian tradition. And you're all welcome to come to that. Um, and of course, Chants and Prayers for Healing will be here next Wednesday too. Hopefully the internet will be a little bit better. And I um, just want to thank you, community. Really, thank you for joining me every single Wednesday to hold prayers for the world. Gonna continue on with deep peace. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Flowing air to you, deep 
place of quiet earth to you Deep peace of the shining stars to you Deep peace of the sun of peace to you Moon and stars pour their healing light on you La 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 Deep peace of the running wave to you Deep peace of the flowing air to you Quiet earth to you Deep peace of the shining stars to you Deep peace of the sun of peace to you Moon and stars pour their healing light on you La 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 One more time Deep peace of the running wave to you Deep peace of the flowing air to you Quiet earth to you Deep peace of the shining stars to you Deep peace of the child of peace to you The moon and stars pour their healing light on you La 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 Just in case you weren't here last week, um, I'm in a kind of college dorm. <laughs> and what I remember from being a student was that you could set the smoke alarms off. So I am going to, when we get around to blowing out the candle, I'm going to blow it out the window because I don't want to extinguish it. I want the smoke to carry the prayers to those that need it. <laughs> so I'm going to go off camera right at the end. And it's a bit weird, but. It calms my anxiety, which is part of what today has been all about. Let's end with our recurring prayer by St. Augustine. Watch thou, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend thy sick ones, Lord Christ. Rest thy weary ones. Bless thy dying ones. Soothe thy suffering ones, pity thine afflicted ones, shield thy joyous ones, and all for thy love's sake. Oh, yeah, I have to go off of this right. Thank you. Take care, everybody. And um, probably about four o'clock my time, I will upload the the video without all the internet interference. Most high
high, all powerful, precious God. No spoken word can hold your name. Praise be to you who births all life with all your creatures. Especially you, sir, brother, son, who is the day and is your light, beauty so true to you. There you are. Praise be to you, my Lord. You are Sister Moon and the stars, bright, precious heaven. There you are. There. Praise be to you, my Lord. You are brother wind and the air, breath of spirit. There you are. There you are. Praise be to you, my Lord, you are Sister Water, gift of life Pure, essential, there you are There you are Praise be to you, my Lord, you are Brother Fire, friend through the night Strong and playful, there you are There you are Most high, all powerful, precious God, through Mother Earth we see your face. You who govern all of life, sustain and nurture all that is. Sister Death, first and last breath, the key unlocking all we are there.